Let's talk about some common hardware that you might use on a garment, starting with snaps. We have our Whopper Popper, our Junior Whopper, and other sizes you can refer to by millimeter and the line unit of measure. We have a skirt hook and bar. We have a more common hook and eye, which is the, the round piece of hardware. Uh, this is different than our similar one using the same hook but has a bar for it, so hook and bar versus hook and eye. The hook and eye is used for a garment that comes together exactly. There's no overlap of fabric in the garment, so this eye allows for room to the so the hook can travel. The hook and bar needs a little bit of overlap in the garment to use and there is a definite direction of this bar. So you can see how the bar in the middle is curving towards a certain direction, right? It's curving towards the left. That hook needs to go in that way, so you'd want to apply it. So the direction of the hook goes into a certain way. You want to apply that bar on the garment. Otherwise it's very hard to unfasten and fasten. The skirt hook and bar is a little more heavy duty. You'll see this on pants and skirts, any bottom garment, and it is simple in the way that it's very similar to the other hook and bar. Um, you have your bar that is just bigger and a little more sturdy that the corresponding piece fits right into. You will see this often where the stitch holes are not visible. So you'll have a little piece of your garment that has a hole in it, allowing um, the folded metal area to come through the garment. There is a definite direction for this as well. When you're applying this to your garment, you do not want to apply it where your garment will unfasten itself if you have it in a different direction. Imagine your garment and the tension you will apply to it once it's put on the wearer. It needs to um, sort of lock itself in. So this is not the right relationship right here. You wouldn't want to put it on like this. This is the correct way. So you would apply it like this, and that is right over left, if you're talking about the wearer's right over left. You would just stitch through these holes, and the third one, and on the bar just these two holes. So you will be able to see this on your garment. Now going back to the way you apply it, so let's say we are having a right over left and it's opposite when you're looking at this, right is the left side that you're looking at, but that would also be the right side of the wearer. So this piece goes on the right side of the wearer, if that is the closure you're going with right over left. So on the right side of the wearer, you'd apply this piece to the underneath area because right over left means that the right side of the wearer is going to be on top. Stitch it down at the holes. You want to get a good position so they relate to each other perfectly. And this is the direction that will allow for the hardware to lock into place when a garment is being worn and it won't come undone by itself.